and in places where it is impossible for Muslims to hear the truth about the cross, Jesus is reaching out in other ways. God doing amazing things lately. It's opened. Like things we didn't see before, we didn't hear about before. Right now, we can see. Many times Muslims have seen Jesus in dreams. The Lord came and met with them directly. The ground under their feet been shaking. Like let me tell you about the satellite channels. It's discussing what's Islam openly. We never have this. Like 1400 years ago, never Islam been exposed like these days. Never the truth, never the truth being revealed as these days. When Muslims become followers of Jesus, the Muslim culture responds harshly. The problem is not our freedom. The problem is the freedom of the converts. They have no rights at all. A convert cannot change his religion. A convert cannot inherit anything. A convert can be killed and nobody will ask who is killer. A convert is nobody. We're praying faithfully that some of the laws will be changed in Egypt. We are praying that the Lord will change things to help make the gospel more free to the people. After many centuries of isolation, the Egyptian Christian community is experiencing new confidence. They are being challenged to grow deeper in their faith. They are seeking to have influence across their Muslim-dominated country. They are seeking to be more loving as followers of Jesus. And this is impacting Christian young people in profound ways. One way is by giving Bibles to Christians in the public schools. In Egypt, we have a translation that is 140 years old. Some of the words, some of the expressions have become obsolete, and there is clearly a difficulty in understanding the Bible text that is available in Egypt for a child. In 2006, we have distributed more than 220,000 Bibles for the children in the fourth year of primary school and in the first year of junior high school, more than 220,000. The next year, we made a distribution of 80,000 Bibles to the uh, young people uh, in high schools. More than any time in the past, it is very important at this moment, it is very crucial to provide the children with God's Word. And we're very confident that the Lord would use it for His glory and for changing the lives of these children. Young people today need uh, the Holy Spirit's touch. Uh, my prayer for the youth is to trust the Lord more, to know Him more, to study the Bible more and more, to find what's inside the words by themselves, not to hear from a cassette or from other uh, uh, people, no, from themselves. I'm working with Muslim background believers more than 18 years. And why? Because I grew up with these people. I live with them all of my life. And I love them. I love them. And I'm praying for them that they will come to the knowledge of God. Because we love them. We love them. They are so precious. Right now, we have the opportunity to reach the unreached. But the danger is maybe persecution is coming. That has not happened for centuries. My prayer for the church is that they will reach the unreached and be ready for the persecution with faith, with courage, with hope that God will use the persecution for His glory. Many Christian leaders in Egypt testify that Open Doors has been a true partner, walking shoulder to shoulder with them down a long and tiring road. Yes, there are limitations, and true, there are daily pressures, but always there is hope. We are very thankful to the Lord who has really put this vision to Open Doors and to other partners who have been uh, instrumental in uh, helping us. Without the help 
without the support, without the encouragement that we got from our partners, it would have been totally impossible to do this project. But we thank the Lord, we thank our donors for helping us and for encouraging us to do this project. The Church of Egypt is holding on to the promise of Isaiah 19, that God will come down on a swift cloud and the Egyptians will know Him personally. Then, a place of worship will be built in the center of Egypt. We live in a very special time in history. God is doing things that have never happened before. We do have faith that the whole of Egypt will come to Christ. Egypt, a country with a rich religious heritage. People who trace their Christian culture back to the Apostle Paul and to the disciples Mark and Peter. More Christians live in Egypt than in any other Muslim-dominated country. These followers of Jesus are uniquely positioned to have an impact on Islam. They have limited religious freedom, but they have a unique opportunity to express the love of Christ to those who are earnestly seeking God. And their success in loving all Egyptians could impact the entire world. This is the challenge before the Egyptian Christians, a challenge they must respond to while they have the opportunity.